Good evening, I'm Alicia Richards. I'm Valerie Pritchett. The cause of the fire that damaged several row homes in Lancaster is still under investigation. That was some fire last night on North Plum Street. What is going to happen to the remains of those structures? Sonica Bargo is there right now to let us know. Hey, Sonica. Alicia, Valerie, the city of Lancaster says many of these row homes here have been condemned for several years. And one neighbor tells me if these homes stay up, she's worried something like this could happen again. It was a scary situation. A lot of people were worried. Savannah Shelton was at work just across the street when a fire started in these row homes. It went from a tiny little bit of smoke coming out the window till it engulfed the house up top. It surrounded all the windows. You could barely see outside. It was it was that thick of smoke. Multiple crews responded to get the fire under control, but because many of the homes are condemned, firefighters couldn't go inside. Since I've lived here three and a half years, those houses have been condemned. The city of Lancaster says one home was condemned in 2017. Six more were condemned in August 2019 because of structural issues caused by a, quote, geological anomaly. Another was condemned because of raw sewage discharge. They should have took care of this a long time ago. The city says property owners have been working on a solution since 2019, but Shelton says she's always been worried about those homes. Now her fears are confirmed. My house is literally four houses away from destruction. My fear is the embers catching something on fire. And living in a row home herself, she's scared of how fast fire could spread. My fear is, you know, someone six doors down. The city will decide what to do with the homes after the fire investigation and structural evaluation. Shelton hopes they finally get torn down. I think it's causing a lot of chaos and issue with something that could have been avoidable. Now, two of these homes did have people living in them. These two right here on the end. The Red Cross is helping the four adults and two children who were displaced by the fire. Live in Lancaster, Sonica Bargo, ABC 27 News.